Welcome to the Aegis Secure Key 3.0 instructional series, Setting the Self-Destruct Pin. This feature has to be used with caution, and only as a last resort, because it performs a crypto erase of all of the Secure Key's contents and the encryption key. Basically, it's a third pin number in addition to the admin and the user pins. If the key is ever unlocked using the self-destruct pin, the previous admin pin and the user pin will be eradicated and the self-destruct pin will by default take its place as the new admin pin. Again, proceed with caution in activating this feature because there's no way to recover the secure key's contents once it's unlocked using the self-destruct pin. Obviously, the self-destruct feature is an admin function, so press the unlock button to wake the secure key up. Now press and hold the unlock and the zero buttons until that red LED goes from steady to blinking. Now enter your admin pin followed by the unlock button and you should get a steady blue LED indicating that we're in the admin mode. To set the self-destruct pin, press the unlock and the three buttons together momentarily. This will cause the red and the blue LEDs blinking alternately. Enter your self-destruct pin and press the unlock button. Again, has to be between 7 and 16 digits. The green LED will blink three times, followed again by the alternating red and blue blinking LEDs. Once more, enter that self-destruct pin to verify it, followed by the unlock button. This time, the green LED will glow steadily for about three seconds. Then the secure key will return to its admin state. That's a steady blue LED. Should you decide to remove that self-destruct pin at a later time, again, put the secure key into the admin mode and then press and hold the 7 and 8 button together for 5 seconds. The green LED will blink three times followed by the red and blue LEDs blinking alternately. Repeat this process of holding the 7 and the 8 buttons for 5 seconds one more time and the green LED will glow steadily for 3 seconds and then it'll give way to the steady blue LED which means we're in the admin mode. By the way, if you recall in section 3, this is the same operation for removing the user pin, which consequently, we also just did when we removed the self-destruct pin. Okay, there you go. Thanks for watching and check out our other instructional videos on the Aegis Secure Key 3.0 at apricorn.com.